So Dikshita has cleared her uh, both groups in the May attempt and now she is helping her super students writing in September 24. So Dikshita, please share your insights on what has to be done in the next couple of hours and also in the first two hours in the exam. First, I would say uh, on the day of exam, you have to not touch anything that's already untouched. Hmm. You have to strengthen yourself in the topics that you have already know it well. So, since they're doing, they're revising the accounting standards, I would ask them to first uh, revise through all the accounting standards because this time accounting standards weightage is going to come a lot, whether in uh, you know whether as an MCQ or as a question alone, because last time we had to talk. Uh, so I would suggest you to revise all the accounting standards which is it, along with the sums. So have your, uh, what do you call this, uh, this notes plus your LCI module where you would have already uh, done the sums and asked you to mark which of it is important, right? So it's like each of you discussing each uh, adjustment. So along if you're doing AS10, go through the AS10 value sums, discuss each adjustment and keep moving on. So, just in this uh, revision pattern, do it along with the sums also. Because sometimes just the concepts doesn't help by solving sums. It, there's, there is a difference. So I would ask you to just revise. And after 11, do not touch your books or do not uh, take in something which you've not done. While going in the car, uh, carry papers, uh, question papers that you've already done. Your answers, uh, the suggested answers plus the question papers. And which maybe you would know ki uh, questions you were not able to attend, concept questions this kind of important, which chapters vintage is a lot and uh, you will also understand the pattern in which the questions coming. That will be compulsory question from reconstruction for 10 marks, compulsory question from amalgamation, then financial statements, you will also have a branch, a branch coming for 6 marks. So in that way, uh, revise the paper and uh, analyze which chapter you are strong with, which chapter you are uh, your error is very less and then when you go to the exam the first 15 minutes is very important because that is when you will decide in which order you have to write if you see a question you say no this question I'll definitely get reconstruction okay I can definitely score 10 or if not 10 at least 8 out of 10 from the remaining of the lot which, whichever question you can score the maximum because again it should boost your confidence and should boost the impression of the uh, Correct, uh, correcting person also, okay, okay, he's got the question and even if you don't get and the presentations also should be good. So the first 15 minutes, you, your job is to determine the order in which you're going to answer the questions and uh, never start directly with MCQs. First one and a half hours, give it for your main part, main either whether theory or practical papers, give it first one and a half hours is for the main practical, then the next 45 minutes go back to MCQs. And then come back again to the practical part. So at least in the first one and a half hours or uh, um, the two hours, you should be at least done with like 35 marks, 35 to 40 marks. If not 40, at least it should be in the 30s range. So even if you're not done, even if you're in the middle of a sum, after 1.5 hours, jump off to MCQs. Because if you try to extend this MCQ, it's going to be time yaga. MCQs might be scoring also. So immediately after the 1.5 gap, you jump on to MCQs. After MCUs again come back. Your speed, the, those three hours, your speed has to be the only thinking part you get is this 15 minutes. Ah, uh, the three pa the three, the rest three hours there should not be any thinking element like what should I do? It, I can't. So decision making should be done in 15 minutes. Then only your speed will play in those three hours. With what whatever it is, just have a calm mind. Even if it's something you've not seen, you know the concept. It's not going to be something out of the box. Just stay calm, think, okay, if you're not familiar with that, go off to the next sum. Don't let that affect her. Don't spend more time than what needs to be spent on a particular question. That's what I'm saying. And Dikstha, what to do if the question paper is very different or difficult than what they're expecting? Like? Yeah, if like the last time, if it's very different than what you expected, first, uh, uh, don't get panicked. I know it's easy to say, even I don't panic, but don't get panicked. Just read through the question because sometimes though it is very different or uh, different in the sense the pattern might be different. We thought it would come in certain ways, the chapters we thought would come it didn't come at all. So it's nothing you know it but then you are so shocked that 
uh, it's uh, affecting your uh, ability to think on that because you would know that at that particular moment to recollect and think that's uh, a capability I've been able to build even if the questions on the paper are something that you've not solved it's fine you know the concept okay if it's amalgamation you first put in your head there, there can be two types purchase merger what did this come under okay if it is purchase consideration through net assets or uh, the shares value if not, okay, uh, does goodwill come into picture or not? Do we have to take such to reserve if it's merger? Whatever it is, just go with the concepts. Don't go with your memory content of your memory, memory uh, capability. Ki, aise sum kiya tha, the same will come. You might not know. So, whatever it is, trust your concepts. You have done the chapters enough. So, I think you can go ahead. Perfect, Dixa. This is quite insightful. I hope you are able to extract that. and. This is what has already worked, so you don't have to reapply your brain. And especially the last point which she said, don't rely on your memory that you have done a similar sum. Don't, I say would never give something same or similar as it is. There will be a twist which you may not be, may not be able to capture. So rely on your concepts and think through thoroughly. Thank you, Dikshita. I think you are getting late for office. You have to run. <laughs> All right.